guys, I'm doing a part three to my broken sewer line one. Now, it's not just at my place that's been affected, but I've actually come out here to check it out and stumbled across something really fucking interesting. So check this out, and I'm going to flip the camera. <coughs> Can you guys hear that? Listen. It's coming from like in here somewhere. It's actually coming from inside my flax bush. Oh, like you can, you, there, you, you can hear the water leaking in yeah. here. So it's coming from the flax bush, apparently. Can you hear it? Yeah, there. It's hard to see. Yeah, I can hear it. My tap's turned off. Yeah, there's a tap there, but it's turned off, so... Like, there must be an underground broken bit. There must be an underground broken bit or something. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Guys, I don't know how much of that you just caught, but pretty much, um, I've just gone outside and tried to locate this new leak from the front of the property. Now, out the back is still exactly the same. We've called and called and called and they're not coming to do it. Um, so, yeah, I'm at the back porch now. So, nothing's changed here, guys. So, I might flip the camera and show you again, you know, so you guys can see what it is. So, yeah, here it is and there's my back door. And, um, go around so the sun's not like in the way and you can see the open sewer pipe and all of this here yep you guessed it guys all of that is toilet paper and feces and disgusting shit now all of this look at this this is my yard guys that's my backyard it's disgusting right so luckily it hasn't affected my neighbor or anything but yep that is fully what we're dealing with and now my neighbors come outside. Yep, that's right guys. It's wet all in here too from one load of washing that I did yesterday. Yeah. That is the situation. And by the way, if my neighbor thinks that she is cutting my flax bush, she's fucking kidding. I do that shit. My house. My house, my responsibility, and it'll be done my way. She's not going to be cutting down half of my fucking property to be doing this. She's my fucking neighbor. It's happened on my property anyway. Like, I've called and called and called and called and they still won't do shit about it. And now my neighbor's calling up. Like, you guys can check this out. If you give me a look at my further videos sooner and you can actually check this out. No, there's nothing important on there. Sup, Vanny man? That was you that just texted me. Um, so, yeah, my neighbor's talking about ripping out my flex bush. Oh my gosh so yeah i'm gonna call up house in new zealand again and do all of that all over again and complain yet again and i guess i'll just catch us when i catch us because i don't know how this is gonna go and i'll record any bits that are interesting so yeah i guess i'll just catch you guys later Guys, I'm currently on hold to house in New Zealand at the moment. Now, I've got a friend here, and he's actually going to blow them up for me because I tend to get a little bit over the top in these situations, and now it's affecting my neighbor's house. So, my mate's going to do most of the talking on house in New Zealand. He's currently on hold, so I may or may not record this conversation, and I'll give you an update soon. New Zealand, they'll come out and fix it. 
um, you guys did come out and fix it. You left an open sewer, an, an, an open sewer pipe in it in my backyard. My backyard's now a cesspit. My neighbour has got flooding under a house, and it needs to get fucking sorted now. I'm sick of waiting. The plumber's been. Um, the, the front yard's flooded. My backyard's got fuck. You, you go stand in my backyard, you'll sink into your knees. The fucking the smell of shit is just intense, and I'm sick of it. Why have you not gotten onto it? The New Zealand just gave <laughs> just gave them a warning for swearing to them. When now my neighbour's front yard is flooding, not just my property, but now my neighbour, the conjoining property, is being affected, and they give my mate a warning for swearing. And I've called up three times. I think this is a part three or part four, but I've pulled, called up many times in between, guys, and he is now on hold and being told not to swear. I'm going to pause this while we wait. Yeah, they said they'd be here by the second, and it's what? It's... Oh, hold on. It's the 27th. It's the 27th, yeah. But that's not my problem. My, my problem wasn't so bad when it was just restricted to this property. But now that it's a, like my whole fucking neighbor's yard and shit's underwater. And you can hear it like bubbling from under the ground. Like, yeah, it's, it's not just a normal problem anymore. It's a get the fuck onto it problem. It's bad enough you guys broke the law by leaving a sewage pipe open in my backyard where my dogs play. And they know I've got kids. What if the kids showed up and wanted to play in the backyard? You know, I can't, I can't very well say yes because they'd be playing in sewage. It's disgusting. Jesus. I don't even want my dogs going out there. I'm on the phone for nearly 10 minutes, guys. Can't believe you got a warning for swearing. Naughty, naughty. Don't fucking... Oh, I wish oh, I wish they could video chat because I got a brilliant t-shirt for that. She can say fuck anywhere in any fucking sentence and it won't it'll make perfect fucking sense, you fuckers. It does. It does. <sighs> Still on hold. Sorry, um, you're speaking of the other tenant tenant of the house. Isaac, yell out. She, she doesn't think you're here anymore. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, he's still here. So you, you're just dealing with a calmer person this time. Because, like, I've called up several times, and this is now a part four YouTube video, not a part one, two, or three, and now it's bubbling up on my neighbor's front property, and she's just gotten off the phone to you guys as well. Yeah, but do, do you understand that that's unacceptable? This is an open sewer pipe. It's illegal. And we are now getting cop from our neighbours. This is sewage running onto other people's properties. Like, this is to be made priority, miss. Yeah, and that's what we've done. Yeah, but you did that two weeks ago as well. Priority two weeks ago is priority two weeks ago. It needs to be priority now. Like, what if kids are playing in our backyard and it's a cesspool of sewage? It's not cool. Well, of course, but I shouldn't have to restrict children from playing in the backyard because you guys won't get onto an open sewer pipe that was opened due to your maintenance if you men. Listened, if you had listened to what I said, we've made contact with the contracting team. The trades will be notified to follow up. Sorry, they will follow up with the trades that are supposed to be coming through today to find out the ETA on, on arriving to the property to have the work done. And you'll get a call from the, co the contracting team. What's yeah, but when will I be getting that call? Because I, I was expecting that call three weeks ago. Please please don't get upset with me. Please don't get upset with me. I'm letting you know details because it sounds like you're not listening to what I have to say. No, well, 
I'm listening to what you're saying, but the action is not happening. The action is not happening with the follow-up of your words, ma'am. Like, I've called up, this is like the fifth time I've called up, explaining the situation, and now it's on our neighbour's property. So, like, action needs to be taken, not just follow-up calls and ETAs. I need action. Every time it's all you get a call from the contract. Okay, then. Thank you. Have a great afternoon. Oh, I'll try. You too. Guys, guys, this is so bad. She's getting angry at me. And I was like, have you guys seen any of my other videos? I'm a bit of a fiery person if you row me up. And this is unacceptable. Obviously, you did not let the children play in the backyard. No, I do not actually have children here at the moment. But that is besides the point. The point is that I cannot let children in the backyard. And I have four dogs I have four dogs in this house and a lawnmower man that won't come round because he has to deal with that. I mean, look at that, guys. And it's all mud. It's all mud. Like, you do I can't blame him. I wouldn't friggin' do it. I don't like doing it. I kind of escort the animals all the way down. So there's my track. I walk them down this pathway and out there and in that very corner right there. That is the safe spot for my dogs to go to the toilet on my entire freaking property, guys. I am not out of line. So, if you liked this video of me showing you how useless Housing New Zealand is, hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell because you know I am going to be doing a follow-up video to this because this is unacceptable, people. So, yeah, I'm going to go have a cigarette and calm down because I'm literally starting to pace now. And, you know, pacing is not good for the mind. Walking is good for the soul and for the mind. But, you know, just pacing is just like, it's not good. So, yeah, I'll catch you later and I'm going to go chill out for a bit.